Hi, it's Dr. Meyer coming to you from East Bay Dis Centers in Concord, California. I want to answer the question that we get a lot, which is, what is a bulging disc? So first of all, there are different names. Someone might say a slip disc. Somebody might say a herniated disc. These are all essentially the same thing. There might be some variations on how much a disc is pushing out uh, when we determine whether it's bulging or herniated. But in essence, if you're having symptoms of lower back pain, and especially if they are radiating down a leg, this is what we might term a, a bulging disc. So when we look at the spine, the bones should line up nice and straight. They should not be twisted or tipped or out of position in any other way. If it is out of position, we call this subluxation. A subluxation over time degrades or damages the condition of the disc in between the bone. As that happens, these outer rings of the disc, which is called uh, the annulus, those are annular fibers, they are a very strong ligament and you can see that they are nice and smooth. In the center is what we call the nucleus and this is made of a much softer material. We, we refer to it like a jelly-like substance. If the disc looks like this, then it's very healthy and very strong, and it's gonna withstand basically everything that you need it to do. But if it has become damaged or injured over time, then those annular fibers may start to show cracks. When this happens, it's weakening. It doesn't have the strength that it needs to support you, and it's also losing water. Every disc in our body has a very, very high content of water, and that is necessary to keep it healthy. When the water escapes, it does not come back in, and the disc will further and further degenerate, weakening. You can also see what's happening with the nucleus here. Because the outer fibers, the annular fibers, are so weakened now, that nucleus is starting to push through. This is what's called, this is what's uh, causing what we term the disc bulge. So on this model, you can see this is a nice big fat disc, very healthy. If it is weakened and the disc is bulging, it might look something like this. And that bulge is now going to push against the nerve, causing any number of different types of symptoms uh, in the area controlled by that nerve. So. We won't get into all of the variations on what you might experience from that, but when somebody says bulging disc or herniated disc, now you know what it is, now you know what it looks like. Hope that was helpful. Catch you on the next video.